Hello again everyone. Today I have for you not one unboxing, but two. Both the free gift that Dr. Benorium sent me for my support on Facebook shortly before all this went down, and the super hot set that I bought from him not long after. Enjoy! That was strange and spontaneous. <laughs> I actually see. Sadly, not on camera, but. <laughs> well, it's on audio. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we're now recording, but also I need to take the nuggets out of the oven. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Eat, yeah, eat, I'll, eat. I'll eat. Today, too. I'm Corin Spice Freaks Loss. And I'm Vitani. Hello. And recently, you know, we had some stuff from Dr. Benorium's Hot Sauce Emporium. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So he's recently started a page on Facebook, promoting okay. himself there. And he wanted reviews there to make him feel more legitimate. So, you know, left a review and he sent me a four pack of his sauces. Just free, which is very nice. And I opened it up and that wasn't all that was in there. So today, we're gonna look at what else is in this box for him. Okay. Is it just this? Well, there's definitely the ghost pepper popcorn. Ah, popcorn. Yep. There's a receipt for everything. Oh no, it's a return slip. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not going to return these. <laughs> then we have the promised four pack. Okay, yeah. Which really nice. is quite good. Yeah. So we've tried the scorpion. Yep. Um, we haven't tried the ghost. Others. Which no. one was the other one that we tried? We tried the the other one was his ghost pepper extreme, which isn't on the shelf behind us anymore. Okay. And from the feel of it, that's all there actually was in this package, but we got free popcorn, yeah! Nice, okay, so yeah, popcorn. Yeah, so you want to try this popcorn first and then sure. move on to the sauces? Yeah. This sauce, the way they've packaged this is really pretty. Yeah. He's really good at packaging. He has yes, that he is. fancy. Um... Yeah, that box was gorgeous. Yeah. Wasn't it? Right. I still have it in my living room. <laughs> bring my drink up just in case. Well, Doubt we'll need it from, from, popcorn, the, from but... the peanuts from before, they only like taste with mouth and hot. Yeah, I'm not expecting to it's need a drink from the popcorn, but hopefully it's good popcorn still. Yeah. Hmm. Which hot sauce is this? This is just, it's got ghost pepper. Oh, okay. So it's probably the same seasoning or similar seasoning to the nuts, but... Mm. It's slightly hotter than the peanuts, because the peanuts just didn't really have much heat behind them at all. But yeah, it's alright. I do think pop a little salt or sugar on these and they'd be a lot better. Yeah. I like salted popcorn, so I think these would taste really good with salt. Yeah. Salt and pepper. Same, but <laughs> not everybody likes salted. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, onto the sauces, for which I've got a bowl of nuggets prepared. Right. Alright, so. You're the one with nails, you can open this. My nails are shorter than usual. Oh. But Versus. Actually, which one have we already tried? The scorpion. Yeah. They are in heat to... order, by the way. There you go. Are they? So yeah, which one's so the, the scorpion's hottest? the hottest. Oh, is it? Okay. Yep. Which one out of the. um? Because we tried those two. Which one was the one that I liked better? You liked the scorpion more than the extract one. The extract okay. one wasn't yeah. very good. Right. Link to where we tried those in the description down below. So, scorpion. I'm not sure if this can be seen. Yeah. Scorpion. Then ghost. Then Serena. Then habanero. I, for yeah. some reason, I think I thought ghost pepper was hotter than scorpion. Ghost Pepper is the more well-known name, but the Trinidad Scorpion is arguably the second hottest pepper in the world. What's the first? Carolina Reaper, officially. Okay. Though there have been one or two institutes who've done tests and found that the Scorpion comes out hotter, so there's not that much in it between the two. So we're going to start with his ex-hot habanero. 
it's so cute. Yep, it's a really nice sort of... It's not a small bottle, it's more of a medium-sized bottle, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. Slender. But yeah. Yeah. Nice, cute proportions on it. <laughs> Need my nails going. No, I've got it this time. That's a nice, easy heat shrink. <laughs> So I'm going to pop some on a nugget, mm -hmm. and in a moment I'll get you to do the same. Oh, nice I'm having a fair oven. bit. Yeah, they've been out the oven a little while. Sorry. That's alright. Cool. So yeah, that's how much I've put on. How much have you put on? Quite a bit, but it's up to you. You <laughs> put on as much as you like. I'm like just scared I'm going to drop some on the floor or something. <gasps> oh. Well, it's not the floor. It's just my knee. <laughs> You're gonna get a spotty knee like you did a forehead earlier. <laughs> that iconic moment. Yeah. I'll link that down below as well. <laughs> Habanero. Mm. So what do you think of that one? That was nice. Yeah. Right. Pleasant. It's got a habanero heat to it, which is like 3.5 maybe. Mm. Yeah, very mild. It's nothing crazy. It's nice taste to it, but a little I'll bit salty. I'll give it a two. Fair. So now we're going to move on to the XX Hot Savina. The Red Savina was the world record pepper before the Ghost Pepper came along. So quite a while ago, but it is officially the hottest breed of habanero. Okay. So it's a type of habanero. Yep. And this is a red habanero rather than the common orange. Personally, I tend to find the chocolate habanero hotter, but we'll see with this one. Um, now put a little bit more on that. There we go. Thank you. Equally a little bit on the salty side, mm. and a little bit more acidic than the previous one, but also a good red pepper flavour to it. I think I prefer that one. Same. Bit more heat with it as well. Yeah, not a ton more heat, but like if the previous one was a three point five, that's easily a four. Yeah. Also, it builds after. I feel like this one. Right. Yeah. I'll give it a second Cause... then, but in the meantime, I will open up the, uh, the XXX ghost. hot ghost. So are we trying the scorpion one again? <laughs> It's up to you. You want to try the scorpion one again? Well, I guess I did like it. Yeah, we liked it a lot, so might as well have some more of it, right? Yeah. That extract oh. one. Label's not quite perfectly stuck on this one. Shouldn't matter, but... Yeah, so... Let's see what we make of this one. And yeah, it does get to the high four, I'd say, that one, but mm. not beyond that, really. Yeah. So this is the first of the actually super hot peppers, the ghost pepper. We'll see how that comes out. Should probably mention all of these are 70% chili. So high purity sauces. And again, I've smothered it in the sauce. A little bit acidic again. Slightly yeah. bit of tang at the end for me. Right, otherwise good, but I'm not so keen on that bit. Is it like vinegary? No, I'm not sure what it is. Let me look at the ingredients. I'm not a fan of this taste. No, I mean, up front it was nice, but at the end there's something that's just not my thing. It's hot though. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's easily at least a five, maybe more. I can feel it at like the sides of my... That's a good strong ghost pepper sauce. And yeah, actually it's sort of... <laughs> it's stinging around the front of my mouth now. Yeah. Yeah, it's stinging. Yeah. yeah. This is a stingy one. Yeah, I thought his roasted garlic ghost was stingy specifically because it was roasted, but this one's kind of stingy as well. Does he use a specific type of ghost pepper or something? Oh, that's the Red Savina one, no. 
He says Naga to Lockia rather than put to Lockia, but I still think that's the same pepper. Ooh, that one made me sweat. Yeah, I think I'd be prepared to go up to either a low 6 or a high 5.5 for that one. I, would, I think I'd put it at 6. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Because of the stinging factor, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. This version of the Trinidad Scorpion one says it's 52% Trinidad Scorpion. When the previous one was 70. Oh, okay. So this might in fact be a different Scorpion source. 70, 70. Yeah, all the others are 70. <laughs> but this one says 52%. I wonder why. Yeah. Especially if the big one that we tried was 70. It was. Don't know what that's about. But it implies that this is a different scorpion sauce to his last one. Even though it's in the same shade of purple. Maybe you had some feedback. But actually, it was really nice. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. If anything needs changing, it's the extract one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that oh, yeah. unspeakable. <laughs> yeah, I was not a fan of that extract one. Yeah, no. Not a fan of the extract one, not a fan of any of his ghost ones so far. But his others have been quite pleasant. How many ghost ones does he have? He has, let's see, he has a smoky ghost one. I think it's Chipotle based. He has a mustard ghost one, he has the roasted Ooh. garlic ghost one, which is actually roasted ghost with an equal amount of garlic to all the other sauces, so I don't know why he calls it garlic. <laughs> I'm gonna get some ghost pepper chocolate, which is really nice. I mean, all his snacks taste pretty, pretty alright, so... Put a lot of that on again, and yep, there you go. <laughs> I'm a more reasonable individual. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I said as I might, as I proceeded to spill it all out. Are there any herbs in there or no? There is a decent amount of onion, right? But again, that's the nicest of the bunch. Mm. Whatever his process is, it works really well with the scorpion. scorpion. Does he have multiple scorpion ones? As far as I knew, we only had the one scorpion one, now but then this two. is a different yeah. one, so. What do you say? Do you want to just finish the nuggets off with the scorpion, or? I really want to finish it with this one, actually, I think. The red savina. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. I don't get a lot of red savina sauces, so I'm quite happy we got a chance to try this one. I've never heard of it before. It's not the most commonly known pepper anymore. Anymore. Well, it was yeah, well considering it used to be like the hottest one, it should still yeah. be relatively well known, even if its title's been but taken. The moment the ghost pepper came along, nobody talked about the red savino anymore. But yeah, for the sensible heat stuff, the red savino. The red savino is the best. Yeah. If you want serious heat, the scorpion is gorgeous. It's not the hottest of scorpion sauces. I have had stronger. But it is a very nice flavour. And not the hottest of scorpion sauces is still very, very hot. <laughs> Do you think it tasted any different from the one we tried before? I thought it tasted slightly more almost herby or something. Well, I guess that's coming from the onion. Yeah, was, at the beginning of it. Was there no onion in the other one? I don't know. If there was, it wouldn't have been as much. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure what the difference is. I don't have both ingredients lists in front of me right now, but... Yeah. Plus, I took that one, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I took it home. Yeah, you went off with that one because it was so good. <laughs> I replaced the extract with that one because yeah. I think the box came with the extract, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, the box, the box, as it turns out, can come with either the extract or the natural. Oh, okay. I got the extract for you because I thought it was the most likely to make you hiccup. Yeah. Still waiting for that, 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 that quest to be fulfilled yeah one day one day maybe not <laughs> maybe i just can't be broken <laughs> what is it that usually makes people hiccup i've tried making myself hiccup before by um i like googled it and there was like a wiki how page with like loads of different 
things to try and one was like inhaling through your mouth and swallowing the air and just doing no, that just repeatedly well apparently it's one of the ways to make it hiccup as well so i'm wondering if maybe the reason why i can't hiccup anymore is because i don't like drink enough like fizzy drinks and stuff like that just bubbly stuff i don't know to be honest but, but you clearly have a well-controlled diaphragm i should be a singer my my laugh is knocking out your audio my my diaphragm stopping me from back from hiccuping against all of the powerful sources oh Thanks. I'd had slightly more than you, so that last one's yours. Certainly worth giving a try. <laughs> I've missed my calling in life, clearly. Clearly. Does X Factor still come on? I haven't watched TV in like. Oh, does X Band my. Uh... X Factor. Oh, X Factor. I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> I've not watched a real. I've not watched actual TV, TV. in. Years. Years and years, same. Only occasionally if I'm at someone's house. <laughs> yeah. I don't even have a TV. I do, but it's mostly for my uh, N64 game collection. Yeah. In fact, we're staring at it's it right injured. now. Yeah. Yeah, I got a proper CRT. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, if you want to take any of these home with you, you're welcome to. Oh, sweet. Well, I've already got my Scorpion. Yeah. Um, the red savina i mean i could take this but was it hot it was like a two wasn't it, it was a little bit milder than the uh, red savina one i'll take it why not? okay why not i'm always running out of hot sauce and thank you for leaving me some of the scorpion because now you'll have one yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have yeah i'm gonna put it on the shelf behind us right here and put these back in their boxes I'm sort of having it flying around in my bed, naked. This, <laughs> this one. <laughs> I love how it's just been left there on its own. The ghost one, of us is yeah. Claiming it. <laughs> I mean, can add it to you. It's not. It's not dire or anything. It's just not my thing. Yeah, really. it's not as bad. It's as not either extract. of our thing, really. What did you do with the extract? Oh, it's still on my shelf somewhere, never to be touched again. <laughs> oh, back here. Oh. No, no, it's right the there. Mustard. I can see it. I see the mustard one. Is it yeah. even open? No, that's one that I've only got recently. We can oh. try that if you want. Oh, no. Out of all of the ones that you listed, I was thinking in my head, the mustard one sounds like the one I do not want to try out of this. Fair enough. I feel like mustard... First of all, I don't like mustard. Just like normal mustard. I find it too... I'm not the biggest fan of mustard. Yeah, I feel like it ruins, like, I'm a sauce I person like as well, I love sauces. sauce, I love... But... But, yeah. Not all of them. Mustard is not for me. But I feel like mustard would be one of those ones that would really amplify the stinging factor of a hot sauce. Especially in a some ghost ways, pepper. yeah. This, the ghost Especially pepper. his ghost pepper, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll so, see how I find that off camera at some point. Yeah. And let you all know, but... For now, I think that's the end of the video. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.